Pandemonium è un film davvero bizzarro, eh, nel senso positivo del termine. E mi chiedo che cosa ti ossessiona così tanto, perché ti ossessiona così tanto l'inferno e che cosa vuoi risvegliare nello spettatore? Um... What I, I think, I think a, a movie is, uh, the best thing that you can expect from a movie is to bring emotion to, to an audience, uh, whether they, they have, uh, as I said, whether it's good or whether it's bad. I think the worst feeling that you have, that you can have while watching a movie is being bored or, or not having any feelings. Um, so I, I like to take radical path when I'm writing a story. Uh, because that's what I think a movie is all about. It's about emotion. And um, I also like to, to, to be original. I, I do not like to, to write a story that has been told many and many times. This is sometimes what I feel when I'm watching a genre film or horror film, is that I'm seeing, well, I've seen that so many times already. Uh, and uh, so I like to take some risk. Uh, I like to, to take a path that hasn't been taken before and uh, in the way of telling a story. And uh, so this is very important for me to be a little bit out of the box. As you mentioned, it's bizarre. Bizarre, you don't even have to mention that it's in a positive way because even if you say bizarre for me, it is a very positive thing, you know? So um, yeah, I, otherwise I, I do not really have an obsession uh, about hell, but uh, I thought it was a very interesting background uh, in order to talk and uh, to depict uh, human suffering, but it doesn't have to be actually to take place in, in hell. As I said in the, in the film, you know, uh, suffering and hell can be in an everyday life. Uh, just by going to school, you can experience uh, hell just by being attacked by your fellow uh, friend in school and stuff like that. So hell and despair and suffering can take many, many faces, many, many uh, characters. So yes, it's not only about this mythological place that we call hell, but it just can be a very regular life. Non è solo la storia a colpire, ma anche la parte visiva, la musica, e questi mostri, anche i colori che vengono utilizzati. E per cui mi chiedo, ti sei ispirato a qualche artista in particolare nell'elaborazione nell di Pademonium? Uh, yeah, yes, I, I, I mentioned uh, that story uh, yesterday, but uh, of course there is uh, one uh, particular uh, filmmaker that uh, inspired me on the genesis also of that film and that I wanted to pay a tribute to, who was uh, Lucio Fulci in wow. his depiction of hell that uh, from uh, La, 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 La Dila. Yeah? And uh, it's, it's a movie that I've seen uh, when I was uh, six years old. And it was, I, I, I couldn't even talk so, so, so properly. I just, I barely able to walk. Well, at six you can, but still, I was very, very young. And then I stole this film from my dad and it, it was a VHS tape. And then I was so excited because I could have stole it from, from his library. And then uh, I waited until everybody was asleep. And then I put it on the VCR and then I discovered that film. And uh, it really traumatized me, but at the same time, uh, I said to myself, uh, this is exactly what I want to do with my life. I want to tell a story and I want to tell a story like that. And uh, I thought that at that moment, uh, the, the, the vision of hell that he depicted at the end of the film was totally striking for the kid that I was at that time. And I thought it was so smart not to show hell like uh like we used to like we used to like a very burning inferno but it was the the dry nothing you know it was a sandless a, 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 an endless area full of sand and, and just rotten bodies like that i thought it was absolutely amazing and by um by shooting a uh, pandemonium i wanted to pay a tribute to that uh, director to Lucio Fulci and also to, to sign the contract that I did with myself being a kid saying, okay, that's what I want to do with my life. And uh, by, 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 by making and by directing uh, Pandemonium, this is pretty much what I did. So um, yes, that, that, that was my, my, my inspiration. For, for the rest of the visual, I try not to be too much influenced by other people and really try to keep my own Root and to invent also my own my own universe, 
of course, you are always the product of what you've seen and and what you've liked in, in your life. So that is just getting mixed in your head and then you put it that again on your own work. But it's on an unconscious level. Uh, I, um, I try not to be too much influenced uh, by, by other people, except for Lucio Fulci on this one and uh, yes. Nel film c'è una scritta che non sa che non nulla, quello che non provengo in un uomo. E sono tutte ragazze, bambine o donne che o subiscono violenza oppure la, la attuano. E come mai questa scelta? È casuale o è voluta? No, I, I would like to tell you a lot about, uh, about that, but, but honestly no, it was not a deliberate choice. Uh, it, it's true that well, well, if you if you take the the, the, the first segment of my film, uh, we're dealing with, with two male characters, but after it's true that we are going into this uh, little girl uh, that invents uh, her, her, her own monster in order not to deal with the reality of her horrible act. Um, but, and then after we, we are dealing with a mother and a, and a daughter. But no, to, to be honest, it was not a conscious uh, choice. And... Uh, Gender doesn't really have uh, something to do here. Uh, I, I, I think I, I think both sexes can can commit uh, atrocious uh, acts of uh, violence, and uh, that is not something that is uh, towards men or towards women. Um, yeah, I, I would have liked to, to say more about it, but since it's really not a conscious choice, I I, I don't know what to say more about about this. If I can add up something, it's uh, also because I really wanted to work with Ophelia, Ophelia Kolb, which is really a great actress. And, um, and we are talking about the last segment. And uh, I also I wanted to, 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 to show, I thought it was um, uh, pretty intense to show that beauty also can be a curse. And that uh, because of jealousy, because of uh, of emotion like that, it can turn your life into a hell when you're a teenager. Um, especially when you're going to school and you're getting bullied because you may be a little bit too too, too beautiful, you know, or some something like that. So I thought it was more designed toward uh, maybe a teenage girl than a teenage boy because that would work better for the story.